I wanted to talk about a heat pump. I wanted to talk about the defrost on a heat pump. I know that nowadays most units they have defrost controls. They have the defrost boards and those boards have all these wires hooked up to it. But if you try to make things simple, it's really not quite that bad. Let's take a look at this for a second. So we know that on a defrost, you're gonna have power coming in like this. And most defrost, the way they work is by time and temperature. Time and temperature. So from here, what it's gonna do is gonna go up to a switch like this. This switch is gonna be operated by a timer like this. Now this timer is gonna be rotating like this. As it rotates, the switch is gonna stay open until it gets to this point right here. Now this timer from one point to another, so let's say from here all the way down to here, it might be, let's say, 30 minutes, or it may be 60 minutes, or it may be 90 minutes, depending on how it's set up. But this right here is going to be a total of 10 minutes right there, 10 minutes. So to get from here to here is going to take 10 minutes. In other words, those contacts are going to close for 10 minutes. Now I said time and temperature. So this is your timer. This timer is going to have power going through like this and it's going to go to another switch like this. Now this switch happens to be operated by temperature. So we said time and temperature. This is going to close the contacts. Once the temperature drops to, let's say about 20, 25 degrees, these are gonna close. So it closes on temperature fall, opens on temperature rise. This is gonna to go to, well, for right now, let's just say that it goes to your defrost relay or defrost controls, but this is going to be for your defrost. So in other words, for it to go into defrost, is going to be by time and temperature right here. And for this to go all the way around to here is going to be 30, 60, or 90 minutes. This is the 10 minute time period. So in other words, this will be closed for 10 minutes. Once the temperature drops down to, let's say 25, say 20 or 25, that's going to close. Then it's going to go into defrost what happens in the defrost. In the defrost, it's gonna, you're gonna switch the reversing valve to the cooling mode. Once it goes into the cooling mode, then the outdoor fan shuts off and the electric heat comes on. So three things happen when it goes into defrost. The reversing valve shifts to the cooling mode, the outdoor fan shuts off, and the electric heat comes on. So let's say now that this has rotated and this has closed. Once these close right here, then power is going to go through and it's going to stop right there. Well, power is going to stop and it's not going to go through until the temperature drops below 25. Once it drops below 25, it sends power and it's going to go into defrost. Like I said, we're going to try to keep things simple. So instead of thinking about the entire board, what we're going to do is we're going to think about this right here because this is what happens in the defrost. The time has to happen, the temperature has to happen for it to go into defrost, and we said on this side the reversing valve is going to shift, the outdoor fan is going to be shut off, and the electric heat comes on. This is your defrost cycle and this is how it happens.